Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Evermore SMP. So in the last episode, we ended up building this lovely, lovely storage, which I have yet to fill up. <laughs> Thankfully, I haven't actually filled it up yet. But yeah, so we've got all of this here, and then we had discovered that there was a zombie spawner that was kind of around there. So I just created this little spiral staircase of getting sick running around. Okay. And I just, yeah, this is, this is all I've done with it. So we still need to do like an enchanting room and stuff like that down there. But for right now, that is not going to be our first project because our first project needs to be food. And so that's what I've been starting over here. Now we ran into a little bit of a problem. That, yeah, this is uh, a little close. <laughs> so, for what I was planning, yeah, I had to shorten this a little bit. So, this is actually a 9x8 instead of the 9x9 nine nine, like over here. So, I just I decided to do carrots and beetroot over here because those are the ones that I need the least of. Because, I mean, honestly, beetroot, the only reason why I really would need it is for a red dye. Or if I decide to actually do like the beetroot stew. So for, you know, decoration and stuff. So maybe we have a actual like soup kitchen or something up on the top and we can end up putting some beetroot stew up there for anybody who, you know, just happens to pass by. But yeah, so this is what, you know, this is kind of the idea of what's going on here. Now I dug out an additional area because I am actually going to be using walls um, on this section here. So these are, I don't want to connect anything on the back. But that's also going to allow light to actually pass through. So we could go ahead and light all of this lovely area up and we'll be able to have that. Let's go ahead and kind of get an idea. So whoop, bleh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And then we want to grab our stairs. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do all of this on camera because, oh, trust me, there's, <laughs> there's lots of repetition and stuff like that, but I figure we could end up kind of, whoop, um, um, okay, do you know what? We can, because that's an extra block, actually, that's just there to stop things from falling down into my storage unit. <laughs> yeah, I was having a slight problem with that. Things would just randomly just kind of drop on my head. Uh, which wasn't necessarily good. All right, so we got one. Oop, uh, oh, right, 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 right. Because this, yep, okay. Did I, did I miscount? I might have miscounted. Ooh, I might have, oh, no, no, no. I think that's actually up one higher. Okay, that's all right. I mean, even if I ended up digging out a little bit more than what I needed, it's it's okay. Granted, I'll need to light it up. I'll have to crawl and get some torches up there because I do not need spiders spawning in my roof. Oh my gosh. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then we need to do that. And then let's grab these. And then it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting trying to get things into place up here. Because of the fact that, yeah, we've got, we've got some issues with, just how things end up going together here. But with this, what I'm gonna do is I wanna go ahead and do the walls like this. And then we can do, we can get to the roof later. What I really need to do is I really need to go find some bamboo and make some, you know, make a little like pseudo farm for it. At least a temporary one so I could actually make some, um, make some scaffolding and stuff because that would make this so much easier. All right, we've got the bricks, so I want to go ahead and add these in here because that's going to that's gonna go across like that, just so we can hide this here. And so this is going to kind of slope upwards instead of having the straight shot like we have up there. But we will, we will get to that in a moment. What I want to do right now, ooh, and I do not... Okay, well, that's polished, so we can go ahead and turn that into bricks. I was going to say, I don't have enough of the bricks. All right, this right here is going to be the beginning of our farm area. And so we're going to do that right there. And then do I have the... Yes, I have the slabs. And so... Whoop, oh, <laughs> not the wall. Goofball. All right, 
uh, no, wall, slab. There we go. There. Okay. Oh, and one of the things I just realized, I did not, um, oop, okay, um, okay, we'll just do that. It's all right if it, yeah, I think I ended up doing it a little bit higher than what I had wanted. Oh, and we also need, okay, so we need, we need to craft a few things. So one, we need ladders and two, we need some trap doors. So let's, yep, uh, let's do that. Turn those into ladders. Do, do, do. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but it will have to do. So let's turn that there. Turn that. Oh, nope. <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but I guess it works. Okay. There we go. So we've got some of that. So we need to go ahead and put the ladders here. And the access point is actually going to be right here. Well, if I don't fall off, oh my gosh. And then we're going to end up having the trap doors on both sides. So we can go ahead and get rid of these guys here. And just to kind of create like a little act. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did do that. And then, okay, we've got the, we've got these. So this is, okay, this is going to be a log. And then we, oh, I already had, oh my gosh, I already had it on my hot bar. And then we're going to do the walls across like that. Yeah. So I am going to go ahead and put the rest of this stuff in on both sides and then fill in the walls because the walls, the walls are just going to be this right here. So you guys don't need to see me doing that on camera. So once I get all of that in, then I'll bring you guys back. So I went ahead and finished up this area completely because I realized that I wanted to get, I wanted to actually work on the enchanting area down by the zombie spawner, you know, today for this episode, because I, I, yeah, I really, I really need it um, to get set up. So I went ahead and I filled everything in the the ceiling is the same as it is in the main storage area. So there's nothing really different about it. And then for the outside edges, I did add in the chiseled blackstone around all the way around, kind of like how it is at this level and added in the torches with the item frames behind it. So we've got potatoes up here. There's beetroot over there. And then if we come down here, I added the blackstone on these as well, but it's not on this one right here because of the fact that it's not actually part of the design for this area. But I still did the item frame with the torch on the inside. And then we've got a nice spruce ceiling just to hold up the dirt on the, the next level up. Yeah, and then there's carrots here and there is wheat here. So let's go ahead and head over. Oh, wait, um, I forgot ceiling up here. So we got stairs that goes, you know, that go all the way up. And I still did the walls on the edge there. And then I just did two chains with the lanterns kind of for the lighting. And that right there, that can, I, I can actually expand that way. But for right now, I've closed it off and said, hey, that is the end of the hallway for now. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. We're probably going to get lots of mob noises because, yeah, the zombies like to spawn while I am crawling along these stairs. I've got, you know, I've got this area pretty much dug out. I think, at least I think. <laughs> That's always the thing. You, you know, you might end up, you know, having, you know, it not quite work out. You're like, uh, I, I don't know if I've actually got that all dug out right. But we're going to end up doing this here. We're going to have this little design right here. And then this could, uh, just a throwaway block. Do I have? Okay. Oak. Oak is a good throwaway block. There we go. Because we're going to be putting the enchanting area kind of down in, down in the ground. And let's see. We've got, so we're actually going to end up doing this right here. And then we can get rid of that for right now. And then we could do that. And then with this, we're going to end up doing something a little bit different. Let's grab, let's grab that. And we're also going to need the spruce as well. Cause I'm definitely going to need more of the spruce trap doors. Let's go ahead and, Oh, I already had some in my inventory, but that is all right. Let's do that. That may probably isn't going to be enough, but it will have to, it will have to work for right now. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. And we are going to need a decent amount of trapdoors on that as well, because we're going to be using these as decoration. 
So let's do that. And then this one, we want to go ahead and do that. Do I have, I do. Let's break that out right there and add, oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. That'll work. That will work. And then what I did here, we've got that right there. Now we can go ahead and bring in these spruce trap doors and, oh, okay. We're going to have to do that. And then we're going to do this because I really like the way that the warped looks with the spruce trap doors. So that is what we are going to be doing there. And then this layer is going to end up being, well, oh, not in, not in the corners though. Cause that is where we're actually going to end up hiding our lights. But I wanted to do kind of like a recessed, whoop, a recessed area for, you know, for these. And let's grab, and amazingly enough, I'm not, yeah, I don't have any zombies. So apparently, yeah, they decided not to spawn, which is really, really weird, but it works. All right, three, okay, four. So we've got the four. So these are just going to end up getting filled in like that. And then around here, we're doing the lovely polished and of course our trap door is now or not a trap door but a crafting table is in the way well, we're going to end up doing the polished all the way around just to kind of designate the and whoop the rest of the floor because the other the other two parts here are actually going to be the wall section and I want to build one of those on camera with you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up with, you know, with the design and kind of show you guys what I did. So let's use, let's use this section right here. This, this is a, this is a good section. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, no, no. What did I, one, two, did I miscount somewhere? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't miscount. I remember the spruce is actually not on the corners. There we go. That is going to be there. And then we're actually going to place that right there because we're going to do something special on the corners here. So let's move this so that we can actually kind of get that into place. And now that we've got this put together, we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to end up, you, you <laughs> we're, we're going to end up throwing a whole lot of stuff, but you know, that, uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to end up have, you know, using a lot of the actual like nether blocks and it looks like I might need to go and get some more of the warp stem. Let's go ahead. We're going to need, let's grab a throwaway block just so we can build on top of it and we can do this right here. And then we're going to do that right there. And do I have, oh, I should, it should be in my inventory. Yes. There we go. And we go like, whoop, nope, not there. Uh, you out. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Now let's grab, no, um, <laughs> I keep, yeah, I keep not having the things that I need in my inventory, but that is right. We're going to break that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that just like so. And then we're going to grab my trap doors. So these ones we want to be able to open up like that. And then this one, let's do, let's do the grindstone in this one. So just like that. And then we'll end up switching over to our spruce though. We do need some of these bad boys like that. Go switch over to our regular. Oh, nope. Nope. Let's do it right here. Just like that. And then this one here is going to be like that. And then these are going to stick out. Whoop. <laughs> if I could actually get it into place. All right, there we go. All right. So that is kind of get, kind of gives you an idea of what is going to be going on outside of the mushrooms, which we still, which we still need to place. So I've got, you know, I've got all of these lovely mushrooms and stuff and we can place these here. I am, so I am going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this and bring you guys back for one final look. The enchanting room is now all set up. One of the things that I found is that these really are good for lighting things up. Yeah, they're good, like the blocks right around it, but not really for lighting anything else up. 
So we definitely, you know, I definitely needed to, you know, kind of get things kind of set up for a lighting to light all of this up. So we didn't have any spawnable spots in here. It's also one of the reasons why I had to hide this down here because the lighting that I had set up, the top of the enchanting table was, yeah, was a seven. And it was one of those, it's like, okay, yes, it is considered a translucent block, but does it actually ha let things spawn on it? And I really, I really didn't want to take that chance, especially considering, you know, I come down here, there's a creeper that spawns on here and boom, everything explodes. <laughs> Which would not be a good thing at all. But yeah, so for the for the ceiling, we did you know kind of like a circle pattern. Actually, kind you know I, I I really like how this ended up turning out. But we did the regular the regular slabs and then the brick slabs in the center there with the trap doors. Oop, and I'm ah uh, bed bed help help Cortez out sleeping here. But yeah, and then I did you know just a little you know trap doors up on top so that we could actually get some more of the lighting up here. And yeah, since these, but I really want, I really wanted to use these. I really like the blue and yeah, the yellow lanterns definitely did not go with this at all. We've got all of our mushrooms in place. We've got a crafting table. There's an anvil, a grindstone, as well as a barrel over here for some, you know, a little bit of storage. Not a whole lot, but maybe, you know, I'll put my, you know, some lapis down here and maybe some extra gear. I think I have a helmet upstairs that still needs to be enchanted. But other than that, this is, this is all finished. Really happy with the way this ended up coming out. This is below sea level. And so I kind of wanted to do kind of a, you know, like a water type feel to this. And I really think that the warp stuff really, you know, kind of lends itself to that. So we've got kind of an underwater feel along with, you know, my, my new favorite block, the, the black stone. <laughs> and I just, yeah, I can't, I can't stop building with it. It's, it's my favorite color and yeah, I can't stop building with it, but we definitely need to, you know, add in a little bit more than just a black stone. We can't just, we can't just have black stone. We've got to have, we've got to have some other stuff in here too. Yeah, so I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. This was definitely, we definitely got a lot of stuff done. So we can now, we can now feed, you know, feed the pirates as well as the livestock. I think the livestock are probably going to be the next thing that I need to kind of deal with. Because we've got, we've got the cows that are over that way. And then we've got the sheep that are over that way. Kind of need to bring them over here into the base. So I'm going to play around and see if there's a good spot to put it so we can actually get like a cow cooker as well as a um, a little sheep shearing section so we can end up getting the the lovely wool while we're afk well not really afk but as we're working on the base and then area where we can actually get more of our steak because unfortunately this is the last bit of my steak so i need <laughs> i yeah i need to figure something out so I think that's what we are going to be working on in the next episode is trying to figure out how to feed me. <laughs> so I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.